Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am Piyush Goel and today we are going to do a hands-on on the topic modules. Before we jump in, I want to give a shout out to all the amazing viewers. Your comment and supports have been incredible and it keeps me inspired to create the content that's valuable for you. If you are new here, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you never miss out our deep dives into the world of Tipco and beyond. And hey, if you have got any questions as we go through this or there is a specific tipco topic you want me to cover in future videos, drop a comment below. I love hearing from you and your feedback shapes the content on this channel. Alright, enough talking. Let's get into the nitty gritty of tipco business works. Grab your virtual notebook and let's dive right in. So right now I am on the tipco business works workbench and First, I am going to create a shared module. So I will right click over this project explorer section and I will go to new and I am going to click on business work shared module. I will click on it and I will give it a name as a my shared module. And I will keep the version as a one. Uh, like because we are creating it for the first time so we don't need to increment any any version so about version so this is this is the major version this is the minor version minor version is zero in this case and this is the patch version the last uh, the this one this is a, a patch version and this is the qualifier version so there are four segments in a version so I am click on, I am going to click on next and then next and then finish. So now uh, my shared module has been created. So this is an shared module and there are the basic details of the shared module like its ID version name and different different thing vendor is tipco and these are things now let me create one application module so same thing i will do right click and i will go to new and then i will click on application business of application there are uh, two options one is the application module and second one is the application so i am going with the business work, business work application so it will okay let me first give it provide the details my application module i have clicked on next so it is going to create two modules actually so this one is actually the application module this one my application module dot module is the actual application module and this one is actually the application this is an application which is going to help us create the ear file so yeah these so this is an shared module and this is an application module so now okay let me delete this one so in the overview section you will see the module type as a application module so there are two types so in application module the module type is application module and if i show you the overview section of shared module so it is having the shared module as a module type so i am going to create a sub process and so i will create the package so for the package convention i will suggest you to create you know follow the java conventions so i will give com dot example dot let me give my shared module dot let's say i am creating the process for addition so let me give an addition as a package name and process name also I will give it as an addition so there are now two things first one are the modifier so there are two modifiers public private I will show you both so let let me you know keep it as a public for now and in the interface mechanism 
there is there are also two options one is direct which is a non visual based implementation and other one is the service implementation both has been covered also in the theoretical section for now i will select the direct option let me click on finish now so a sub process with the name addition.bwp has been created it's a direct sub process so it requires us to map this schema on start and end activity so on start it will be on output editor and on end activity it will be on input editor now i am going to the schema folders and i will create the same structure as i have created in the packages so i will create a folder name as a com then i will create one more as a example then again my shared module you can you know decide which whatever casing you have to follow is it a camel casing or it's up to you so i am not going to worry about that for now so yeah inside my shared module i am going to create a schema file called my shared module so i have created the request and response schema for the sub process addition which we have created in this start i am going to you know utilize the addition request and in the output i am going to select addition response and i am going to utilize a sum function over here and i am going to pass the input as is so the so that it can you know do a summation the main application module i am going to create a process which will be uh, i will follow the same convention com dot example you can you know give your own domain as well my application module dot so it will be a timer process so i will give it as a timer as one more folder to be created and i will give it a process name as calculation and so over here there are modifiers same thing as in the sub process and i i am going to keep it as a public and there are some patterns in this so there is a empty process direct sub process and service sub process so direct sub process is the same one which we have created on the you know shared module right now i am going to create an empty process so i am going to click on finish so it has created a process so in the process let me show you the advanced section of this so modifier we have keep kept it as a public and there is a mode also over there stateless and stateful right now i have created an empty process but is in it but it is in error state because it requires a starter activity to start this process so i am going to click i am going to right click on it and go to add add activity then i am going to go on a general activities and from there i am going to use a timer as soon as i you know put a timer error will automatically disappear then i am going to utilize the existing process which is addition which i have created on the shared module and so i have dragged and dropped it and then i am going to put a transition from timer to addition i am going to give a input as one let me duplicate this five times delete and okay let's give 10 as an input
so its sum should be 50 I will create a debug configuration and then I am going to start this application so you can also see details over here I will click on debug and see the OSGIE console below it is putting all the information over here so you will see the application has started started BW application message will come on console and from the debug option if I show you so at start so if you go to the right side there is a job data so you can see it is you know it got the input of type decimal and those five decimal values are 10 10 each and if I go click on the and activity you will see a result as 50 so that's all for today guys thank you we will see I will see you again